Hello folks, this is Jenna Spinoza Goswami coming to you live from my car. I'm going to do a short little segment that I'm naming Lunchtime Bites because I just had lunch with my husband and I'm going to take five minutes or ten minutes at the most, keep me honest people, to jump on with a revelation or not a resolution. No, it's that time of year, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. With a, a bite-sized little nugget of information that is helpful for you and an action step you can take on that nugget. So this morning I was in a coffee shop updating some of my old blog posts. It's something that I do at the end of pretty much every year. I review some of the, my blog posts that have performed really well over the past year by performed well I mean people have been clicking on it they've been seeing it they've been sharing it I take a look at those those stats and those numbers just to see where it is I also take a look at any offers that I put within the blog posts and um, so you know every year I, I notice that some of the offers are expired or no longer existent so I have to update them with a different type of offer and I stumbled across one of my favorite blog posts and since it's updated now I, I will share that underneath this video but it's called three problems with whole 30 and coincidentally I also got a request to do a lunch and learn type seminar presentation on popular diet programs so I wanted to hop on and talk a little bit about how my approach to health is different than your traditional um, whole 30 keto whatever the kinds of diet programs that are very popular and kind of do the rounds this time of year so most of these other programs, they focus on what to have less of. For Whole30, it's less or no sugar, alcohol, um, carbs. I mean, there are some carbs that are allowed, but they're like um, the fibrous carbs instead of the starchy carbs. So like the broccoli versus the white potatoes. So there's a lot of don't eat this, you can eat this. But unfortunately, a lot of those programs out there have more of what you can't do than what you can do, which creates a lot of confusion, a lot of overwhelm, and a lot of Google searches around what can I do, or what can I eat, or even by extension, what is good for me. Because we tend to associate, when you establish rules around things, we tend to associate value judgments with them as well. So if you have come into the practice of not eating something, whether that's sugar, bread, meat, what have you, you start to associate negative connotations with it. Oh, I can't have that. Becomes it's not good for me, whether that's factual or not. So that's how typical diet programs operate. That's not how I operate. <laughs> and I see this in everything I do and how I show up with clients and the kinds of programs I'm working on. By the way, I am completely updating how I work with people and I do have a survey out there that needs your feedback and needs your input. So if you are someone in this community or watching this video, please fill out the survey that I'm gonna pop below this video. Take two minutes of your time, fill out the survey, and I'll send you a free holiday meal plan just for fun, just as a special gift to you from me. But here's how I'm different as a health coach, and this will continue to be true in 2019. I don't focus on what to do less or no of in my programs or how I help people. Instead, and even personally for myself, over the course of the last 21 days, I have been focusing on eating more vegetables. And that's showing up for me in, the ter in terms of for breakfast, I'm eating vegetables. For lunch, I'm eating vegetables. For dinner, I'm eating vegetables. Basically, I'm eating vegetables all day long. But instead of telling myself, I can't eat this, or I shouldn't eat that, or this is bad for me, I am instead saying, I want more of vegetables. How simple is that? I also use the same approach when I lost 100 pounds over 17 years ago now. It was a long time ago. Then I didn't focus on no sugar, no soda, no blah, blah, blah. I didn't do any of that. Instead I said, I'm going to eat more fiber. Because at that time, I knew that eating raw veggies was, was not going to be a quick thing for me and I needed to kind of slowly get myself used to the idea. But I didn't like veggies and I still have my struggles with veggies so <laughs> as you can see so my focus then was more fiber and you can get fiber through whole grains and beans so I ate a lot of whole grains and beans that is how my approach is different than your typical health program because when I work with people I ask you what do you want more of 
And that is where we start and that is where we set our goal setting around. What do you want more of? So that is my challenge to you today. Instead of you know focusing on the next health program that's gonna tell you what to have less of, Let's focus instead and change the perspective and say, what do I want more of in 2019? And it's fine to start with things like, I want more health, I want more energy, I want more um, excitement and motivation. Those are great places to start. But I mean tangibly, what do you want more of? Do you want more of organic grass-fed meat? Do you want more of vegetables like I'm focusing on this month? Do you want more fun experiences with your hobby? Do you want more restaurant food instead of like eating at home? Do you want more um, foods that you cook from plants? Do you want more of your children participating in your new program? You know, those are things that you get to determine because this is your health and this is your time to decide. Your action step for today is to share below this video what you want more of, either right now or anticipating you'll want more of for 2019. And here's a special invitation for you. I am running a goal setting webinar. It's called your, your 90 day plan. A lot of people have these ideas and these grandiose resolutions and these beautiful words of the year, but they don't tie it to action steps that are going to move forward for them. They're going to help them achieve those things that they're setting and dreaming big about. I can help you get there. I'm all about the how and how to implement it. And I will do it with the filter of what do you need more of in 2019. So if you've answered this question on this video or you're thinking about it and you have your answer but are too shy to answer here, that's okay. But I invite you to join me for my free webinar. It's happening December 30th. So not New Year's Eve, the day before New Year's Eve, which is on a Sunday and it's in the evening. I'm in Central Time. You may not be in Central Time where you are right now and where you're checking in from. Totally okay. If you anticipate you're not available live during that time, that's okay too. Register for it anyway and I will send you the replay because I want you to set yourself up for the most healthy, happy, energetic, fun and exciting 2019 you possibly can and I can guarantee you it's not going to be coming through a resolution or through a word of the year. I will help guide you through the action steps that I use both personally and professionally so that you can achieve things that are amazing for you and things that you can do more of instead of doing less of. Stop restricting yourself and start adding to your life the things that really matter to you. This is Jen Espinosa Kaswami coming to you live on this fun Friday from my car. I'm not driving. And uh, thank you so much for sharing this video, for commenting on this video, for signing up for the webinar. I will see you then. Have a great weekend.